Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like uh, to welcome you to the in in uh, movie Svetozor in the first EA symposium symposium about experimental architecture BNR, which take place in uh, our gallery in El Gallery. And from this reason, we have here about today we have the first symposium about this very interesting topic. Uh, I would like to welcome our guest from Austria. Uh, the first, uh, Rainer Zetter, from Institute of Architecture, University of Applied Arts in Vienna. <laughs> and also next professors and teachers and students from Vienna. I would like to invite here also the curator of this uh, exhibition and also organizer of this uh, symposium, Martin Santer and uh, Imro Vashko. <laughs> and the next uh, partner from Faculty of Architecture of University, of Technical University in Prague, Miloš Florian, Professor Miloš Florian. One of the key speakers today. And uh, Peter Stetz from Academy of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava. I would like to thank uh, our partners because it's uh, very important to have money for <laughs> exhibition and symposium because in this period the money are all. And I hope we will have the money for the next two years for the bigger, bigger project bigger BNR and bigger symposium. And uh, the main partner of this, uh, of this project, well, our co-organizer is uh, our partner in, in Prague, is the Academy of Arts and Architecture and Design in Prague. I hope that maybe Dean or Rector come to to our conference or symposium, we will see. I would like to thank the US Embassy in Prague and Austrian Culture Forum in Prague. I would like to invite uh, Walter Strema here of the Österreichische Kultur Forum. Well, many, many thanks for the support. And I hope you will be partner for the next BNR and symposium in the next two years. And next partners are the Penta, Penta Investment, Prestigio, Studio Que, DSV, Art Map. It's all, and now I would like to ask the curators of the introduced speech and uh, about the program of today. Thank you, Gal, for your introduction and welcome everybody. Uh, we as curator, we split our speech for two parts, so as I'm older, so I'm stuck. Um, after a couple of months, short period process of uh, realizing and uh, one month displaying uh, introduction exhibition for investigating blurry term of architecture experiment in our show is almost in the end. The common event, which was organized in cooperation between the Gallery of Jaroslav Radner, <coughs> Academy of uh, Arts and Design in Prague, and with a big support by University of Applied Art, Giangevante in Vienna, get real, and we hope that the other new founding tradition of architectural ideas at change will survive. Today's symposium session is rather a social and professional meeting of all layers of EAB participants. We are very happy to welcome almost 100 participating students and gay leaders from Vienna, Innsbruck, Bratislava, and Prague. But because of international scale of invited institutions and gay leaders, symposium is not representing just mentioned surrounding environments, but wide range of global architectural society. This initial experimental architecture biennial in Prague hosted not just one educational platform, of architectural thinking. 
gaining Viking academic studios from across three surrounding neighboring countries, Austria, Slovakia, Czech Republic, five schools of architecture and gay architectural research product, and dozens of teaching architects, thinkers, scholars, and team staff. But primarily, EAB is hosting over a couple of hundreds, raising young architecture stars from all over the world, which are developing a wide range of real architecture design. Today's symposium of Architecture Experimental Biennial is one of research format, which the aim of rediscovering of contemporary architectural thoughts forth of 21st century era of new geometries. Today, encounter is 10 hours marathon of mixed presentations of exhibiting students, talking, and explaining their thoughts and studio projects, moderated by sharp intell intellectual eagle from Vienna, Rainer Zettel. Presentations of most interesting experimental architecture exponents from Slovakia and Czech Republic, Peter Stets and Miloš Florian, and keynotes, lectures of nowadays world architecture thinkers of Hernan Diaz Alonso, Marian Coletti, and Greg Lynn. In the start of experimental architecture biennial preparation, the general base of our team, even brainstorming, was a hypothetics of the weekend, weekend cultural mile axis between culture centers of central European cities like Berlin, Prague, and Vienna during previous century, not just because of geographical and geometrical position of cities of Prague, of city of Prague in that axis, but the real human movement of the city modified in, during the 20th century as a center of the avant-garde, the intersection of architecture and art movements, motions and tendencies. But many bad things were happened in the second part of the history. Now we hope that the new axis is happening, is appearing. The new cultural mile between Prague, Bratislava, and Vienna will represent not just local self-portrayed tendencies, which might power it and revitalize it. Revitalize. EAB platform must be about rebuilding info, in, in, info connections, flows between former and new cultural nodes around everywhere. Thanks for everybody for coming. Thanks everybody for exhibiting. Thanks everybody for discussing. And thanks everybody for creating new work. Thanks. Thank you, Imra. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, the future and the deep future. As I heard, many people are talking about parametric architecture, like parameter and parameter. I think it's not about the terminology of parametricism. Parameter existed in deep and past age. Vladimir Derecek, one of Slovakian architects, developed 40 years before a gallery as a bridge between two buildings, generated one of the generated on the base of a parameter, which was the light and reef producing and deepness of urban fabric block. In Gothic cathedrals was parameter of grandiosity, pomposity generated by statical forces. The parameter of Stone Age was also like light producing predictions as the artificial answer uh, to people from God. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a new thing for me. So anyhow, now let's turn the timeline back and go to the future. Yesterday in our school was presenting a guy to us a 3D scanning system and he had to scan our colleague but the guy who was presenting the 3D uh, scanning system was uh, kind of totally absorbed by rules of statics of objects. But our colleague wasn't able to keep his face straight and static, so it emerged an interesting collection of layers that generated complex spatial movements of his feelings during the scanning. It appeared to me as something like synthetic gradient of stop-motion mimics, inspiring me, making me able to develop diverse fragmentations of space. So I think it's about playing and breaking the given rules where we no, have not only followed the path from point A to point B, otherwise we are reconstructing things. We have to push things forward in order to make something new. And this sentence was coming to me from Ryan Settle. Thank you for this. <laughs> so now when we are following the evolution, we will see 
kind of new tools we are using and I don't like to say we have to be slaves of our tools we are creating for us but we have to cooperate with these tools that are giving us the possibilities of new open socializations out of our projections and a new synthetic cultures. If it's Sagrada Familia where we 3D print parts of the tower or we create molds for their parts, if even it's 3D printing, 3D scanning, new materiality simulation and prediction, it's going about evolution, reversion, and discovering new possibilities, enabling us cutting the edge of imaginative past, imaginative present, and constructing the reality of synthetic future. This forum of experimental architecture, which is acting under, under a biennial of experimental architecture, has to emerge into bold synthetic architecture form that will drive and brocade and provoke discussions together with architecture users and you. And now, as the symposium is open, I would like to sell my uh, microphone to Imro, who will uh, introduce you the first speaker, uh, Peter Stetz. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Uh, because we already postponed our <coughs> start, the podium will be taken now by Peter Stetz. Um, Peter Stead is now uh, head of the, the studio in the Academy of Finance in Bratislava and because I am very familiar with that school and the architecture department over there, I was teaching there serving in several positions from the, from the 90s. I know what does it, uh, uh, what does it mean? Um, to uh, fight for experimental architecture, to fight for new ways, new ways for, of architecture methods, and how to survive in surrounding environments with your um, tests. Um, after a couple of years uh, um, training of young generation, I know how difficult it is to get new generation, even in the country where the new architecture is just raising and uh, new uh, and information about the, the architecture in the country in Slovakia uh, must be provided. And uh, I, after two decades of uh, being in that institution, I was very happy that uh, we found a person who was connected to our school, like Petro Stets, who did a PhD uh, study program, but uh, the person who gained the international uh, experience in education and also in a practice. Peter Stets was the first uh, absolvent graduate from Greg Lynn Studio in Vienna after he moved to uh, Princeton University where, where he uh, graduated his other second uh, master degree and after practicing in uh, several offices in with Peter Eisenman in New York, uh, Herzog de Meron in Basel and then Kohlhaas in Rotterdam. And I was really very happy that um, Peter chose his further career for academy and to help Slovakia to uh, develop a real good new contemporary architecture school. So I'm very happy to introduce Peter Stets. <clears throat> 